In today's video, we are going to take your travel website design to the next level by creating a video slider hero section using Elementor. The idea behind this section is to showcase stunning video backgrounds from different travel locations around the world, which will engage your visitors as soon as they land on your site. We'll build a slider with multiple video slides that users can easily navigate through by clicking on the navigation dots below. This type of hero section is perfect for adding an interactive and immersive feel to your website, making it stand out with each location highlighted in full screen video experience. Don't worry, it's quite simple to make and all you have to do is follow the steps we show you and add your different videos. So go to your WordPress admin panel and open a new page. Now let's get started by creating the main layout for this hero section. First, we need to add a full width container. This will act as the foundation for everything in our hero section and set the direction to column. This will allow all elements within the container to stack vertically. Next, adjust the height of this container to 100vh, meaning it will take up the entire height of the viewport of your section. To refine the positioning, set the top margin to minus 70 pixels. And lastly, to remove any unnecessary padding around the container's edges, set the padding to 0. Once our container is set up, we'll move on to adding the carousel widget. This is the core element that will allow us to create the slider. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Once our container is set up, we'll move on to adding the carousel widget. This is the core element that will allow us to create the slider. Click on the plus button, look for carousel widget, there it is, drag it into the container. After it's added, make sure to set the padding of the carousel to zero, so it fills the entire container. No unwanted spacing is left around the carousel itself. Now let's configure the carousel settings. Go here, set slides to display to one, for navigation, disable the arrows since we won't be using them. Instead, we'll use dots for the navigation. To do this, set the navigation to dots. This will display small navigation dots at the bottom of the carousel, allowing users to easily switch between slides. Next, let's style the navigation dots. We want them to be visible but not too large. So set the size to 15 pixel and set the color to white to ensure they stand out against the dark videos. To position the dots exactly where we want them, select custom position. For the horizontal orientation, choose center. So the dots are centered across the bottom of the slider. For the vertical orientation, set it to end with a position of minus 29 pixels from the bottom. This will place the dots just above the bottom edge of the screen without interfering with the video content. Now we can move on to the slide one. Select the first slide in the carousel inside slide one We'll add another full width container. Set this container's direction to column so that the elements inside it are stacked vertically. Set the height of this new container to 100vh to make sure it fills the entire screen height and adjust the justify content to center. This will vertically align all the content within the slide, creating a balanced and professional look. For the next step, we need to give this slide a video background. In the background settings, select video as the background type you can either upload your own video or use a link to a YouTube. This video could be a scenic shot of a famous landmark or a beautiful landscape that represents your travel destination. To make sure the text stands out over the video, add a subtle background overlay with a dark color, such as black, and set the opacity to around 20 to 30 percent. This will ensure that the content on the top of the video is easy to read without losing the beauty of the background. Next, we'll add the content to slide one. Start by inserting a heading widget. Set the text color to white and adjust the font size to 65 pixels to make the heading bold and eye-catching. To create some spacing between the text and the edge of the container, apply 75 pixels of left padding. Also, set the custom width of the heading to 40% to make it more compact and to ensure it aligns well within the container. After that, insert a text editor widget to add a short description or subtitle about the destination. All right, set the text color to white and the font size to 18 pixels 
to make the text readable but not overpowering. Apply the same 75 pixels left padding to keep this design consistent and set the custom width to 40% as well. Now let's add a button widget. I'll do that. Customize the button color to match your site's theme and set the left padding to 70 pixels to give it some breathing room. This button could serve as a call to action like explore now or book your trip. It will give visitors an easy way to engage further with your content. To finish off slide one, let's add some social media icons so people can follow your social media channels. Set the icon shape to circle and arrange them in a single column. Align the icons to the right side of the container to balance out the design and the color to white to make them visible. Set the icon size to 53 pixels. You can also set a row gap of 30 pixel to ensure the icons are spaced out nicely. In the advanced tab, add 15 pixel of right padding to position the icons away from the container edge. Alright, set the position of the icons to absolute and place them at the bottom right corner using the settings, right 0 pixel and bottom 297 pixel. This will position them in the perfect spot for a clean organized look. Also make sure you link these buttons to your pages before you save the design. With slide 1 designed, it's time to duplicate it to create additional slides. Right click on the slide 1 and select duplicate. Repeat this process to create as many slides as you need for showcasing different travel destinations. For each slide, make sure to update the background video with a new destinations video and customize the heading, text and any other content to reflect the new location. You may also need to adjust the pagination position for each slide to maintain a consistent look across the slider. Once all sliders are in place and the content is updated, it's time to publish your work. Just click update to save your changes. You can now preview the page to see the video slider in action. As you scroll through the page, you should be able to switch between the different video slides using the dots navigation at the bottom, with each video transition offering a smooth, immersive experience. Alright, if you don't have Elementor Pro or if the carousel widget isn't available, then you can watch this video on how we made a free video slider in Elementor to create a video background carousel. After that, all you need to do is add the different elements over the carousel design using the steps we showed earlier to make it work as a hero section. And there you have it, you've successfully created a video hero section using Elementor for your travel website. This dynamic and visually appealing design will capture the attention of your visitor and your website is sure to leave a lasting impression. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.